It is five o'clock in the morning. Oh, you you can't see me at all. There we go. Oh, okay. Good morning. Because of jet lag, I woke up at 4.30 in the morning. We're just going to have a little morning routine slash productive day today. So since coming back from Korea, I've been waking up around 4 or 5 a.m. And I'm not sure why, because that is 9 p.m. in Korea. That should be sleeping time. So I just like to say I am in a different time zone. <laughs> I baked these sweet potatoes yesterday at 400 degrees for about an hour and a half and now they are all nice and golden. These are not your traditional orange yams. These are Asian sweet potatoes. They are so delicious. A little pre-workout snack before I head out. I hadn't run in over three weeks, which is quite a long time if you want to keep up with your endurance. So I ended up telling myself, I've done this before, I can do this, and I did. This is a friendly reminder that our bodies are resilient and it's only through challenges that we really grow. Now it is smoothie time with Maya and I was feeling a strawberry banana protein shake some of my banana. I am gonna throw in some ice in here. Ooh. I finally had a moment to rest in my apartment and I decided to read my book. This book is called When People Are Big and God Is Small and I was reading it while I was in Korea too. If you tend to be a people pleaser and you care a lot about what other people think, this is a great book to recenter our mindset as to who is truly important. Okay, right when I came back from Korea, I washed all of my colors. And now it's time for me to wash my wipes. <laughs> I still don't have a Dyson cordless vacuum. Practically speaking, I don't need it. Cause I also have this and then I have my narwhal vacuum. But maybe as a future wedding gift to myself, I will get it. So many things I had to do today, but this just happened. It's never happened before. I just took a three hour nap. I lied down thinking, oh, I'll just close my eyes for 20 minutes. And I woke up three hours later. <laughs> this has never happened when I'm woken up early. <laughs> Jet lag one, Maya zero. But anywho, I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I bought from Korea. But first, thank you so much to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. So I took this case with me all throughout Korea and even my cousin said Casetify is really popular there. She also knew, hey, Casetify is also really environmentally friendly. And I was like, you are correct. So let me tell you a little bit about them and give you a coupon code. I got my Casetify order in this really cute packaging that is 100% recyclable made from recycled paper and soy ink. The cases are created from 65% recycled and plant-based material and their Chi Tech 2.0 technology offers drop protection of up to 9.8 feet but good thing I'm only 5'7". The shock dispersing material is lined inside the case bumper and protects all four corners. The Ultra Impact case is Casetify's slimmest case at only 13 millimeters thin. They're also wireless charging and 5G compatible so you don't have to worry. You can choose from curated prints or customize your own using your favorite font and design layout like I did. The cases feature Defensify, which is an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria, but they're non-toxic and non-hazardous. Yeah, I took this with me all throughout Korea. I dropped it so many times, and it's just fine. We're going to do a drop test, but I'm not going to do it in my apartment, because I rarely drop my phone in here anyway, and I don't want my downstairs neighbors to hate me. <laughs> the other day, I did drop it here, though. It's fine. 
I've returned from my adventure and I thought there was a scratch here but I literally just wiped it and there's nothing <laughs> so just go to www.keystify.com slash myalit to get 15% off your order you can customize so a few things I got in Korea is my customized Nike Korean hat I just added this patch myself on a Nike cap then I got myself a Hybe Insight sweater these corn almond snacks in Korea are so delicious. Someone in my DMs told me that they also sell it at the ABC store in Hawaii. I've never seen it, but when I go to Hawaii for my wedding, I want to look for these because they are bomb. I bought so much of Jungkook's favorite kombucha. So much! And it's Nahido from 2521. She's on the cover. So I've got some face masks in Korea. They were pretty affordable. Got some BTS merch from the Line Friends store in Korea. And then a ton of L'Occitane lotion because these are amazing. I did not shop in Korea as much as I thought I would only because I felt like the clothes, the quality was a bit different and I didn't think I could wear it long term because in Korea, the trends are constantly changing so they're changing out their clothes all the time. The only thing I bought was this purple cardigan. <laughs> Let's go make some lunch. We are going to make some bulgogi salmon. So it's basically bulgogi sauce but with salmon instead of beef. Three tablespoons of soy sauce. One, two... One tablespoon of mirin One tablespoon of honey he, About that much is good So my salmon was only supposed to be in the fridge for 30 minutes But it ended up being 5 hours Because I had lunch provided for me today We are baking it and I set it to 450 degrees Ooh, It is a sauna in there You can totally just pan fry this and not put it in the oven because I know it's a really high temperature which means more on the electricity bill but I just didn't want it to splatter everywhere because I didn't want to clean it up also, I got this recipe from Korea Popsang and she mentioned that she bakes it or broils it, but you can pan fry it. Uh, I'm looking at this and there is no way this is going to be done in 6 minutes. So we're going to do it for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. We're going to add on another 4 minutes. Tastes like bulgogi. But it's fish. After eating dinner, it was time for me to get ready for bedtime already. I absolutely love removing all of my makeup with a cleansing balm and then I double cleanse my face, I brush my teeth, and then it's time to sleep. So if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye!